welcome. Try this problem out and then press play and we'll solve it together. Okay, so we have to express this in a plus bi form. That means what they're saying is take one minus i, and you can see here the third power. So we want to take it, multiply it three times, and then simplify the results. So we have a real part a and an imaginary part with bi. So here we multiply three binomials, and usually what I like to do is pair up any two of them. I'll take this pair right here, multiply those first, and then take that result and multiply that by one minus i, just to keep track of it. So here we multiply these two binomials, one times one is one, one times negative i is negative i, and then another negative i times one, altogether it's negative two i, right? And then negative i times negative i is plus i squared. You could simplify at this point, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna leave all of this alone to the very end. Um, because i squared can be broken down to negative 1. I'll go over that. But now what I want to do is I want to take this first term and multiply it by each part of the trinomial. 1 times this trinomial is just itself. So I'm going to rewrite it. 1 minus 2i plus i squared. And then I can multiply everything by negative i. So 1 times negative i, negative 2 times negative i, and i squared times negative i. That's going to get me negative i, because negative i times 1 is negative i, negative i times negative 2i is plus 2i squared, and then negative i times positive i squared is negative i cubed. So now I've got these terms, and you could simplify i squared here, because that equals negative 1, and I'll go over that, but I'm going to combine like terms. So I have 1, and then I, in terms of i's, I have negative 2 groups of i, negative a negative group of i it's negative three groups of i and then i have plus i squared plus two i squared as plus three groups of i squared and then minus i cubed so now i have this set up i simplify if you remember i equals the square root of negative one this means that if you square both sides i squared is negative one so here we have 1 minus 3i minus 3, because we have 3 times negative 1 is negative 3, minus i cubed. Well, if i squared is negative 1, that means that i cubed equals i times i squared, right? Because here you have i to the first times i squared. It's got to be i to the third. And if i squared is negative 1, this is really just equal to i times negative 1, which is negative 1i, or negative i. So i cubed is just negative 1 times i, or negative i. So that means when I have subtracting i cubed, I'm subtracting negative i. So I'll write that down. And then I can simplify this. 1 minus 3 is negative 2, and negative 3i minus negative i is really negative 3i plus i, and that's going to equal negative 2 minus 2i, because negative 3 groups plus 1 group is negative 2 groups of i. Now, the nice thing about this, one of the nice things about this problem is that you can actually check it on a calculator. So I don't know if you know how to do this. Let me show you. If you have a graphing calculator, uh, Texas Instruments, you can press mode. Down here, there's a real a plus bi is what we're looking for. It's complex form, right? So we hit enter. Now we can deal with complex numbers. And maybe you've noticed, so I quit out here, clear this off, that if I look at the period button, there's a little blue i above it. That's referring to the imaginary i. So if for some reason you're having a block and you're like, what does i squared equal, right? You can have that, you can have the calculator show it to you. And you could probably find other ways to use this, but I would just also use it to check things like, what is i cubed? What does that equal again? And it shows you that it's negative i, so that might help you. All right, thank you.